so we've just arrived at the uh, the Mystery Mystery Bay campground. First night, um, you pull in. It's a sort of almost like a park-like area. It's very uneven everywhere. Uh, we did start up the top, didn't we? Yeah, but we said it was like too rocky, so a little bit uneven. So we end up coming down here. So we end up getting this literally the first spot as you come in. So pretty awesome actually, because as you turn this way. You've got the beach literally straight across the road, which uh, which is pretty amazing. So you've got a beautiful beach over there. We've gone for a little snorkel today. We saw a um, school of fish. The fish is like this big. Yeah, so plenty of fish to see. Um, the water's quite a good temperature. Uh, the toilets here are just a drop toilet, so not it's the disgusting. best. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Paid forty bucks a night. And uh, it's, it's all about where the location is, I suppose. So you can have campfires here as well, which you might have one tonight. We'll see ya very soon. Peace! So you've got Mystery Bay here, which is uh, just south of Jarvis Bay by about an hour. Um, absolutely stunning rock formations throughout that coastline there. Bit of crab hunting there with Tiago, which was fun. Um, it's right next to Naruma, which is a beautiful place. But this was just a little hidden gem uh, that we're very fortunate to come across. You can just see the aqua water and the sand and the rock formation it makes it just an absolute beauty of a place to have visited. We're very lucky. Uh, a lot of fun for the kids. Um, there were some waves there. Um, yeah, just 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 a stunning place to have spent uh, a few days and nights. Up, up and away, in my private plane, I'd like to call the drone. Look, you can you can really just get a, a fantastic feel um, from the aerial views here of just how how beautiful Mystery Bay coastline is. Uh, you've got the, the the huge rock formations that that are, that are coming through the ocean there, which create a wonderful sort of marine life of, uh, of fish and coral which is always just a dream to um, to snorkel there. Having a couple of days of, of sun, which we, we had, um, makes it all, all the better. Um, you've just got this beautiful shot coming back into the beach, and that's the beach there that everyone can enjoy. Um, I would definitely recommend coming down. What a fantastic place. You don't want to miss it, so definitely put it on your hit list to, um, to come and travel to. Um, you definitely won't be disappointed. Take care. Lake Tilba now, which is about 15 minutes from Mystery Bay. We uh, camped literally right on the water's edge, which was absolutely stunning. 
funny story, sent the drone up on the first day or two that we were there into quite a stiff little wind. Uh, I was up there for about 15 minutes and it started beeping at me. So safety, just sent it back home. It's on its way home, right into the bite of the wind. And all I could see was the percentage dropping as I was looking at my screen. It landed right on that edge, which I was not to know because obviously um, it blacked out on me uh, and I thought it had gone straight into the, into the drink. Um, I was losing my SHIT, driving up and down, asking all the neighbours, thinking, where is this drone? I've just thrown all this money away. My daughter rings me about 10 minutes later and says, oh, Dad, I think I found it. The Find My Drone app. Uh, she played around with the phone and literally got Google Maps up, and sure enough, it was uh, it sent us about 20 metres from where the, uh, the drone had landed. Uh, and thankfully... It was about five metres from the water's edge. Slight bit of damage from knocking into a couple of trees, but thankfully it's back in our hands again. There's a story for you guys. Thanks for coming. Cheers.